Hello everybody, hope you had a fantastic week wherever you might be. Um, I'm currently very excited. I'm flying to Kenya tonight um, to host the first week of our Masai Mara experience which is a new offering for us from this year on. And if you followed um, Trevor, Al and Jerry um, this past week, you would have seen that they were in the Mara um, busy setting up our new Mara camp. It look, looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, I can't wait to see it and also can't wait um, to see all the staff that are there. They've almost become, well they have become like family to us. Um, this is the earliest that I've personally been or going to be in the Mara. Um, usually it's sort of around right about that August, September time during the uh, Great Migration. And by the looks of it, the grass is very long. Um, they've had a lot of rain in Kenya, the river is very high. So it will be a very different experience. But judging from what Al and Trevor have seen the last week, the predators are still there. So I'm very much looking forward to that. And if like the past few years is anything to go by, the Mara always delivers. Um, also your predators, I feel, are also a lot more active. Um, when there's not as many wildebeest around, so really, really excited to, to get up there for two weeks. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit, just um, a few things that I take with on safari, above and beyond the, the sort of normal um, cameras and, and clothing wise. But just to run you through in, in no particular order, here are a few things that I take with me on safari. So these, this is a little power bank. Um, comes in very handy, um, especially when you're traveling on flights, etc., to charge your, your phones. Um, this can even charge uh, my GoPro camera, which I'll uh, go through a little bit later. But we do have plugs in the vehicles and in our media tent. But it's just when uh, traveling, um, especially at the airports, for my guests and for myself, if they want to charge any phones, this always comes in very handy. Um, this can charge a phone up to about seven times, so a nice powerful one and something that I always travel with on safari. Um, the second thing that I carry around quite a bit is, uh, is beanies. Now, except for the obvious, for the cold mornings, this actually works very well to cover your camera. Um, whether you're traveling or when you're out in the field, just to protect it from uh, dust and things that might be collecting. So, always travel with a couple of beanies, definitely worthwhile. If you don't have a beanie, another thing that comes in quite handy is a buff. Now, we've spoken about the buffs many, many times. These are our new wild eye buffs. And, and you can put them around your neck when it's cold. You can soak them in water and put them around your neck when it's hot. You can have them on your arm to wipe um, off any sweat that might, might be um, around or sunscreen. But also, again, similar to the beanie, you can also use this to then cover your camera um, to protect it when traveling or to keep it free from dust. So, buff always comes in very handy. Then something that I always travel with as well is a, a kikwai or sarong, depending where you're from. Um, and this I use all the time to cover my, especially for my, my lenses. So, you can wrap your your lens around it nicely um, again also when traveling but even when I'm out in the field um, you can wrap it nice and tight and then if there are any bumps and things in the flight when traveling then it's safe it keeps it free from scratches and um, but like I mentioned also keeps the dust out of your um, out of your lens also areas where you might do some walking safaris or lying on the ground the Kikwe works perfectly, you can lay it out, lie on there and um, just prevents you from getting very dirty out in the field. Okay, then a torch. Now this is something that a lot of people forget on safari and especially in places like the Mara, there are no fences around and although there are lanterns, it can be dark at night and also um, the first thing in the morning when you wake up. So this is a little LED torch. Uh, very handy it can strap to your belt and it's also got um, chargeable batteries inside so very powerful little torch uh, nice and compact and something that I never go on safari without okay 
Then something else that I've recently purchased is the little GoPro. Now, fantastic little cameras. I haven't been able to use it a lot, but I'm looking forward to sharing some more behind the scenes of what goes on on a safari with you guys. Um, especially more around our new Mara camp, our staff, but also from a guest experience point of view, what, what actually happens on safari. Um, so I look forward to using this. Uh, and I'll be taking this on every safari that I go on now. If there's anything that you guys would like to see, um, some more videos of uh, behind the scenes, interviews with staff, or if there's something that is stopping you from traveling to a particular destination or to Africa as a whole, please get in touch with me and I will love to, to share that information with you guys and also share some of those videos to hopefully get you to come on safari with us and help us to change the way that you see the world right guys that's me for this episode next uh, week i'll be coming to you from the mara as i mentioned super excited and i look forward to sharing many highlights with you guys until next week cheers have a good one